So the MRuby can be embedded in the systems or devices or applications. In order to do that, so the MRuby should be very portable. In fact, its core and the virtual machine is entirely written in C99 only, so you don't have to worry about the other APIs and system calls and anything like that. So as a result, so MRuby can run on any CPU that runs C99. In addition, oh, I mean, so, so you can run MRuby on Intel CPU or ARM or MIPS or Spark or any other programming, uh, any other CPU. In addition, so MRuby does not depend on any operating systems. So you can, you can run MRuby on Linux, Android, OS X, iOS, Windows, or even without any operating systems. So you can run uh, MRuby on this tiny board without any operating system. And then the most other, the other important things is to provide some kind of software of time. So when MRuby controls the, say, robots or some machines, so if it stops, during the execution or the different during the walking, so for the garbage collection, for example, so it will crash, it will fall down, the robot will fall down. So the we implemented the the, the special garbage collection feature for MRuby, which is the which is reduce the pause time, so the the time spent in the collection of the object, which stops the real uh, the application. So to provide that, we implemented the generational incremental garbage collection, which uh, the very recent CRuby provides the same, same uh, the garbage collection, but uh, we provide it to at least two years earlier. The MRuby also stands for minimal. That means the the, we have we spend less memory. In fact, uh, the MRuby runs on very tiny computers. So these days we have that PC has a lot of memory, even that four gig, eight gig, or even that 12, sixteen gigs or something like that. So that that is huge memory, but. Uh, the computers in the embedding field is tends to be very tiny memory. For example, the Lego Mindstorm NXT, the second version of the Lego Mindstorm, only has the 48K of memory. That is quite small. And then the recent one has the 40, 40 meg of memory, and uh, which is very big <laughs> considered to the 48K, but, uh, but it's, still small compared to the you know the several gigs of memory on pc so the to reduce the spending memory we designed mruby and that the compiler and the virtual machine and the, the li class libraries can be separated and configurable so so in very tiny memory computers we can separate compilers so you can compile uh, Ruby programs into bytecode, so that to excuse the program, you only need that kind of compiled bytecode. So you can drop off that all the compiler to reduce the memory, or you can drop off the unused class. So okay, I don't use regular expression in in my application, so I can drop the regular expression, or I don't use file I/O in this application. You can drop the file I/O and. So you can configure the virtual machine the, the suitable for your, your application. As a result, in the very minimal configuration, so MRuby only re requires only 150K, that is very small, but uh, the spending consumed memory is, uh, depends on how big your application is. So this is, on um, this configuration, 
you can run only maybe 20, 40 lines of code or something, but uh, at least you can run Ruby program on the, the computer with 150K. And uh, on one attempt, very heavily modified uh, MRuby virtual machine can run on the Lego Mindstorm in NXT, which, has, which only has 48K. But uh, to, to, do that, to, that, to accomplish that, so we ha that they have to uh, strip down everything so that that virtual machine doesn't have the array or strings, only have numbers. So the, on the, they can run uh, five lines of line tracing Ruby program on the, the 40, 48K of the Lego Mindstorm. But uh, it's, it's a kind of a tricky way. <laughs> but the unusual way, the we, we minimal requirement of the memory is 150K. And uh, if, you, if you have more memory, you can run more programs. So that leads to the modular system of the MRuby. As I said that, the, everything in MRuby is modular. Compiler, the virtual machine, and, then, and uh, the libraries are modular. So in fact, we implemented the package system named MRuby gem, which is the counterpart of the Ruby gem for MRuby. Just because we don't have uh, the, the ability to evolve or load the program afterwards, or the dynamic loading of the C compiled object system, just because it's not included in C99. So the everything in the MRB gem is linked statically at compile time. But uh, you, to help to manage those MRB gem, so we implemented the, the tool named mgem in Ruby, so you can install mgem by using Ruby gem. So the, you install the using gem, gem install mgem, install the, the program named mgem, so, and then you update the, the, the MRB gem data from, from the, uh, the repository, then you count the size, size of the, the library. So now, as of two days ago, <laughs> so now we have 166 uh, MRB gems uh, in, in repository, and then we have even more MRB gems not uh, in, registered in the repository. So we have a lot of gems that provides, for example, the regular expression in uh, several ways, or maybe access to the database, or accessing the network, or the file I.O., or uh, whatever, access to the OpenCV, or uh, controlling the Linux resource but, uh, with using C group feature of the Linux, or a lot of things. So the, uh, by adding uh, those uh, gems, you can add functionality to the MRB gem the suitable for your application. Well, and uh, it's kind of easy to use MRuby. Just download everything from github.com MRuby slash MRuby. Then com the edit, oh, this is important here. The, don't forget, the github MRuby slash MRuby. Then uh, if you want to con configure your program, so the, the vi uh, build config dot rb, so then type rake to compile everything. So you have several program compiled. The MRB, MIRB is one of them. MIRB is the interactive Ruby for MRuby. So you type in your program, so you get you get your result. And uh, you have the, like, when you compile, you can get the, the everything compiled, including gems, in a library form, the so libmruby.a. Or you can easily uh, cross compile to, say, support computers or the other CPU. So you can compile the, the so Raspberry Pi binary on, on 
it's a Linux PC or even on the, in the, on the Windows. Well, so the MRV is fundamentally 1.9 compatible, so you haven't have yet uh, that two, Ruby 2 fancy features yet, but uh, we are working on it. And uh, we are adopting uh, Ruby 2 features gradually. <laughs> 